Okay, we are going to go over how to add uh, using uh, expanded form. So we have 5,874 plus 6,259. So the first thing to do is just separate these into expanded form. So we're at 5,000. Okay, so basically expanded form, we're just going to take what the value of each of these are based on their place value. So the five is in the thousands place, so we get 5,000. The eight is in the hundreds place, so we get 800. Seven is in the tens place, so it becomes 70. And then the four is in the ones place, so it just stays as a four. We're gonna do the same for this. The six, okay, so it becomes 6,000 plus 200, because the two is in the hundreds place, plus 50, plus nine. So how we're going to do this is we do four plus nine. What does that equal? That equals 13. But we can't just write 13 here, right? Now, um, I guess we can do that. So this is 13, 70 plus 50, 7 plus 5 is 12, so it would be 120. So let's just do it like this. 800 plus 200 equals 1,000. Okay. Then 5,000 plus 6,000 equals 11,000. Okay. Okay. So one thing we can do is now we can add all of these together. So I know that 120 plus 13, what is 120 plus 13? Well, I know 110 or 10 plus 120 equals 130 and then plus another three, right? I can break the 13 into the 10 and three. So 120 plus 10 is 130 and then plus 3 130 plus 3 is 133 and then plus 1000 okay and then plus 11000 okay so I know 11000 plus 1000 equals 12000 and then if we were to just add 133 to 12000 it would be 12133 Okay, so that's one way we can do this with expanded form, okay? You can just make sure you line up all of the place values properly, obviously. All right, and then another way we can do it with expanded form is more similar to the standard algorithm where we go here and it's four plus nine and that equals 13. But since we know that 13 equals 110 and 13, we put the 3 here and then we put the 10 on top of here. And now we just add this 10. So 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 1 equals 13. But that's the same thing. So we're just going to put the 3 here. And then in the tens column, we're having 13 tens. So that actually becomes 103 tens, right? Because it would be 130 tens, which would, so we're going to add the 100 here from the 13 tens. So now we're at 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 equals 11. And we have 11 hundreds, so that's going to be the same exact thing. Since we have 11 hundreds here, uh, we need to, uh, 10 hundreds is 1,000, so we need to add 1,000 here to add here, and then it becomes 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 6 equals 12, and since there are no more uh, place values to add, we just put the 12 here, and then it becomes 12,133. 
Now the easier way to do this is just the standard algorithm, which I mentioned before is the way that every adult uh, does it. And actually pretty much everyone from fifth to sixth grade um, will do it because it's the most efficient way to do it um, and less complicated and you're once you learn it you're far more likely to uh, get the right answer and not make a silly mistake instead of doing weird overly complicated methods like this so what you do is you do 4 plus 9 you start from the ones column you line it up by uh, by place value then you start from the ones column 4 plus 9 you put the 3 here and then you carry the 1 for the tens right you saw how we did it here and that's exactly what why we're doing it then we do 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 1 is 13 and then we're carrying the 1 from the 13 and then 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11 then we're carrying the one here and then it's 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 6 equals 12. You see how we got the same number all three ways but this one was just substantially faster and we didn't have to write expanded form. So this is the standard algorithm but this is expanded form. So Yep. Well, that is how you uh, do addition with expanded form.